Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. Okay, so today we're going to do a neat little trick. What we're going to do is we're going to take a random 2D image, and we're going to transform that into a 3D object. All right? So in order to start with that, the only thing we need to do is go into our modeling menu, into polygons, and take a simple plane and drag that out in the grid like that. Okay? Then the next step is you go up to Modify, Convert, and go to Texture to Geometry. Hit the Option box. Here we need to select the image that we're going we're gonna to use. And uh, let's see what we got in here. I got this guy. Okay. All right. We're going to open that up. I'm going to leave all these settings as is. Right. I'm going to click on my plane, and I'm going to select Apply and Close. We'll give that a sec. And you can see that some stuff's going on here, but actually if we tilt it, you can see that that's our basketball player, okay? All right, now you can see in this image that our basketball player is white and our background is black, okay? So we kind of have two options here. We can kind of cut out the black and have the white left or vice versa, depending on what you want. Now, in this case, I want to have the basketball player only, so I'm going to get rid of the black, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. And if we look up here, you can see that a number of materials have been created based on our image. So I wanted to get rid of the black, so I'm going to click on the black here, right-click, select Objects with Material. So in this case, we're selecting all the black, right? I'm going to hit delete to get rid of that. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to right click, go to object mode, select that and go up to edit mesh and extrude. And I'm going to pull on the thickness to create my object here. Okay, and hopefully you can see it okay. And what I'll actually do just to prove this is we'll just uh, create, a, let's do a point light. And let's seven on my keyboard so we can kind of see what the light's doing. And here we go. And here you can clearly see that we have a 3D object. All right. So. <clears throat> You can apply a different material to this, obviously. You can get rid of the plane if you want, but that's how you do it. So hopefully uh, you have fun with this, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll help you if I can. Thanks. Bye.